Today we're gonna paint a little cabin in the woods or like a cottage or a winter house. And um, we're gonna practice this so that we can make a, a whole winter village scene in the next couple of days. We already have painted a tree that has snow on it. Where is that? Let's see, right here. So we might add a couple of those in or you could if you want to. But I thought today we would just focus on the house. So uh, the materials that we need today are the same as usual. Paints, watercolor paper, pencil, a couple brushes, some water, the cleaner the better, um, a sponge. And I think that's it. Um, I'm gonna draw a little house shape here. And I'm gonna start with just a square for the front and then I'm gonna draw a couple lines heading back at an angle. I'm gonna try and make these lines be about the same angle and that's gonna show the side of the house. And then I'm gonna draw a triangle coming up for the roof and back down and then another line at that angle heading back not quite as far and then that line comes down for the back of the roof. I know I want a chimney because I want to practice painting some smoke, so I'm gonna put a chimney in. And that chimney will kind of go sideways like this. And what else do we need? The roof, I'd like, I want the roof to be covered in snow. So I'm making the roof overhang the edge of the house a little bit. And I'm gonna erase all my pencil under there. Um, so the roof will be white with snow and I'm gonna make the whole front edge of the roof will be white also. Kind of making like a gingerbread house um, wavy line here along the edge of the roof and I'm gonna keep that white. Okay, um, you could make kind of a shape that shows where the smoke would go, whatever shape you want for the smoke, because we're also gonna try and keep that white. I'm using my this practice paper that I painted on top of and that's kind of smudged because I'm gonna use this as a learning experience to get ready to paint a whole village of houses. I'm gonna put a little window up here in the top story. So now choose where you want your windows to be and your doors. I'm gonna put a couple windows on the side. And the reason windows are fun for this kind of painting is because we can paint them yellow to look like the lights are on in the house. I'll put the front door here and maybe a little doorstep. Um, I'm gonna make a curved window for my front door. Little doorknob and I think I'll do two little windows on the side. The more windows we do, it's actually a little bit harder because we have to keep that space uh, unpainted while we paint the rest of the house. So I'm just gonna do a couple windows. I'm loving my chimney, I'm just gonna adjust it so it's really straight. Let's paint. I'm gonna make this be kind of a dark sky. So I'm gonna start with this, the, I'm just gonna paint kind of around this house. Oh, let's make, let's make a line to show where, um, where the ground is there. And maybe a little pathway here. So I'm gonna start with um, just water. I'm just gonna paint water around in the sky area and I'm gonna paint right up to where I want the smoke to be. This just helps the paint spread a little bit. I'm staying away from the edge of the house right now. Just painting all around here.
And now I'm gonna use a dark blue and I'm just gonna start putting that color in. This would be a good opportunity for a bigger brush. Would really spread the paint out much faster. So if you have a smaller brush than me or a bigger brush than me, you could either pause or speed me up. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of um, darker, um, I just realized I need to finish this side. There are gonna be some trees down at the bottom too, I think, so I guess I'll go right up to the edge of the house. But then I'm gonna try and keep this kind of clear. Okay, darker blue now. I'm gonna put darker blue up at the top. And then I'm gonna try my other darker blue too. It's so wet that it's able to spread really nicely and kind of blend together with the other colors. My paper is kind of curving, so it's making this big puddle over here. I'm gonna try and move it a little bit. Now I'm gonna use just a little bit of black. And I'm just gonna put black at the very top. And then um, I'll use a little bit of water and try to spread it down just a little. I just want it darker at the top and lighter as we get down towards the house and the snow where the trees will be. So with a clean brush that's pretty wet, I'm just gonna kind of brush it down a little bit. There. Okay, now what I'm gonna do with just water on my brush, I'm gonna paint in here where the smoke is, and I'm just gonna kind of wet the edges of where that blue, where I had kept the blue away, and let it come in. Now, if that gets too dark, just use a dry brush and you can pull some back off. I'm gonna wet the bottom edges here now. And now let's paint the house. I think I'm gonna paint this house kind of a bright red. So I'm just gonna use the red in my palette. And I'm gonna switch to a small brush. If you have a bright pink, I think that would be a fun color for this house or even um, a green. It's a fun time to experiment with house colors. So I'm leaving the roof white. I am leaving this trim around the front of the roof white and I'm leaving the windows and the door white. Um, everything else will get painted red or whatever color you choose for your house.
Okay, I'm gonna make the front door green, I just decided. This is still a little too wet to do trees over here. So what we could do is make a, um, oh, actually, let's paint the chimney. I'm gonna do a pale, kind of a pale brown, and then I'm gonna do some brick sort of shapes on top with a darker color. So I'm using the brown in my palette and then just touching the very tip of my brush into water to help water it down. And now I think I'm just gonna use water to spread it out. Okay, so while that's drying, we can do um, a turquoise for the snow. Um, let's, I'm gonna use this little part of my palette here. And this turquoise needs to be really watered down. And I'm gonna put just a touch of the sky blue in there also. Okay, so I'm gonna do some little, um, it's almost like just little blobs. They just show where snow drifts are. And do some kind of up by the house. And maybe along this path and then around the chimney and down at the bottom without touching the red I'm gonna go all the way along the bottom kind of up and down and up and down kind of make a kind of a bumpy pattern there and then same down the front edge of the house and I might do a few going across too and then I'm gonna put it up the front edge over here Now let's mix up some green for some trees. My paint over here is pretty dry. A little puddle there, but that's okay. So I have some old paints here that I'm gonna use. This is green and black. And this one is green and brown. And I'm, I want a little more of this green and brown, so I'm gonna make a little bit more. And then I'm gonna use this kind of medium sized brush, I think. And with that green and brown, I'm gonna put a couple of trees here. I'm gonna put a tree right here. And another one here. And maybe there. And how about one a little one down here and there. And then 
Is this side wet? A little bit, but that's okay. Put one right there. Okay, and now we can draw the trees. Wow, that really spread. That's all right. Okay, so starting at the top, we're just gonna do fast trees here. So squiggle to the left, squiggle to the right, move down to squiggle to the left, and just keep going back and forth. Squiggles, droop them down, lift them up. To fill in pretty much the whole background here because it's white. With, these, with this color. And then we can go back with the darker color and add more branches on top to kind of define the tree. Let's see if I can save this one. It's probably because the paper is bending there. a little bit of water. I just don't want that white, all that white space showing back there. It's kind of bothering me. So I'm going to fill it in. I know where my trees are now. I've got their trunks. And now I'm gonna make a darker red. Before I go on top of those trees with the darker color, I'm gonna make a darker red for the shadows on the house. So this is red from the palette. I'm gonna put just tiniest bit of black into it. Makes an almost purple color. And then underneath the eaves here, gets a little bit of that darker shadowy color. Straight down here under the windows. And along the ground where the snow is. And then also up here. do the black color now for the chimney. I'm just going to do like little stripes across the chimney. And then I'm going to use the same color for the door frame.
and we can also use that color for just like some little branchy shrubs coming up out of the snow. And now let's do some darker trees. This is the green and black and a small brush. And I think I can just do another tree right on top here. a little bit wet so it might spread. I'm gonna put a little bit of snow around the bottom of these trees over here. A little bit of blue kind of near all the um, sticks and shrubs, trees. Maybe a little more in front of the house. And now all that's left is a nice bright yellow for the windows. My yellow is pretty dingy. Let's see if I can borrow a yellow from this one. I'm gonna have to be careful to not get um, too close to the red that's around the windows right now. Let's see if I can. So if your red trim or that red shadow underneath is bleeding in, you can do two things. You can use a dry brush and try and pull some of it away, or you can wait till that's dry and then do the yellow. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is try and add a few little white 
um, dots in the sky. They could be snowflakes or stars. So I'm gonna use my white and just touch it down in a couple places. Next time I want to try making the trees a little more deliberate and add some snow to the trees. I think that would be a little more accurate for what is actually happening in this picture. If there's snow on the ground, there's probably snow on the trees too. So I could add some snow later um, or just paint them more carefully next time, which is what I think I'll try doing. Some people use a um, toothbrush and get it wet, get the paint on the toothbrush and then spray the paint off the toothbrush so it's kind of almost like splatter painting to get white paint on their paintings. Okay, I'm gonna make a couple into like long starry shapes. Kind of twinkling stars. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm just gonna do one more little step for this house right here. Maybe like that. Okay, I'm done. I hope you um, have fun painting a little winter scene and come back next time and we'll make a snowy village.